her again, back at it with the big green guy and another theory slash analyzation in the works. But today we won't be talking about romance. Today we'll be discussing a different theory revolving around the fourth and so far final installment of the Shrek franchise, Shrek Forever Out. In this movie we see our beloved characters return, Fiona, Donkey, Puss in Boots, and of course the big green guy himself, Shrek. But this time we see a new villain after Shrek and his friends, Rumpled Stillskin, an evil little guy who seeks revenge on Shrek for ruining his chances of tricking the king and queen into giving him far, far away years ago. But without realizing it, Shrek, who is now a full-time parent and husband, decides to sign over one day from his past to Rumpel in order to have a day for himself. But when Rumpel takes away the day Shrek was born, everything he had in his life before is now erased, including Fiona and his kids. Now Shrek must find a way to undo it all and win over Fiona's love once again in order to return everything back to normal. So here's the main issue I have with the consistency of the fourth installment of the franchise. When Shrek gives up a day from his past to Rumpel, who ultimately takes the day he was born, thus making it so he never rescued Fiona. And later in the movie we hear Fiona talk to Shrek about how she had to escape the tower on her own making it clear that Shrek did not rescue her from the tower at all. But here's the thing that confuses me about that whole story. If Shrek had never rescued Fiona from the tower, then Charming would have. Now I know what you're probably going to say. Charming died in the previous Shrek the third movie, but here's the problem. If Shrek had never been born, he would have never been there to defeat Charming, and most likely the whole third movie would have never happened. Because as we find out in Shrek 2, Charming rescuing Fiona was the original plan. Thus, Charming would have rescued Fiona and they would have married and ruled the kingdom together. Shrek got in the way when Farquaad sent him to get Fiona. But if Shrek was never born, Charming would have stepped in and been able to rescue Fiona after all. Thus, the whole idea of no one ever coming to rescue Fiona makes no sense with what we already know from the previous films. Anyway, all in all, I guess I'm just splitting hairs here. But in my opinion, this plot hole kind of distracts me from the movie, because it seems confusing that they never address such an issue. But then again, maybe it was the cause of not enough runtime, lack of audiences wondering, or maybe even because it's titled a children's film. But all in all, thanks for watching, and thanks for sticking around and listening to me ramble yet again.